9.33 in the morning, it's still the 13th of July, 2023, the Weaver Jan C. Roseman, California. Oh, Thursday. A few videos are going into storage until I decide to put them out there, and they'll be, you know, retro, but talking about too many things happening in my life. And also the physical and mental changes that are happening that, uh, are slowly accumulating. Maybe I should put them out there. I'm concerned. Just how much changes I'm going through right now as it is, and I'm not quite sure how to handle them at all. I know I should talk to doctors. I get pills, notions, potions, lotions, God knows what else. I don't trust a medical establishment for using me as a damn guinea pig. But I still need them to keep me alive, unfortunately. That's what we're dealing with these days. Otherwise, I'm going to be dealing with a hell of a lot worse. And they're going to be doing damage control and not much until it's too late. And then I get to pass on and everything else gets screwed over. Yeah, hell of a life to talk about and deal with. Seeing politics happening these days, screwing people over left and right one way or another. Because of everyone else's personality, major malfunctions going on. Their world, their us versus them, their egomaniacs, forcing the majority of people into, into their will, their control. Doesn't matter which particular political terminology you can use for this situation. It's still egomaniacs, yeah, megalomaniacs, forcing their will upon everybody else because they say so. And they want the love and support because they are totally dependent upon having their egos fed. Now, I know what it's like to feel loss because of people dying on you or family members and friends going away or leaving. And I know how lonely that feels. And, yeah, it would be nice to have people to talk to about stuff like this. But not to the point where you're going to be manipulating people left and right into thinking, into your way of thinking left and right, because, from my own damn opinion, I'm not wanting that damn shit, to tell you the truth. It's bad enough that I've got problems right now, medically, but for me to force my will upon everybody else, and how does this work? I don't know. You tell me. I still have to go to the doctors and deal with my own damn neuropathy, and I'll probably get tested left and right, shocked, stabbed, and everything else. Dealt with a contrast and just see if my damn nerves are going crazy. But they are going crazy, my body. So I have to deal with that, don't I? I also deal with everything else happening these days. And I'm not looking forward to it. I'm really not. I don't know how to fuck to deal with this shit. I swear, I swear to God, I don't. But I'm going to have to eventually go to the doctor's office, aren't I? Too many things happened to me with the medical establishment, trying to keep my ass alive, that I developed a lifelong resentment against him. But I had to deal with it, I had to cope, because my body and my mind, well, back then wasn't, but now these days... Lack of sleep is screwing over my damn neurochemistry. <laughs> damn neurons are not firing the way they should be. 68 hours should have been healthy enough, but I don't even get that those days. Not for years. Grieving and everything else has a way of screwing me over one way or another. Oh my god. Senility. What? 
What the fuck are you talking? We're giving errors to this shit. Is I have K showing you out of his frickin' mind? Oh, we must. We have to. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have had this damn thing muted at this point over here, but since I already brought up this damn Pandora's box, it's already been blasted wide open. RFK Jr. is a fraud. You heard me. Putting it on record. Kennedy, you're a joke. You're a fraud. You're an embarrassment to the Kennedy line and to the Kennedy name. You believing in all these damn conspiracy theories... Is what's ruining the Kennedy legacy. What the hell is your major malfunction? Have you been tested for salinity? I mean, have you seen anybody for your mental character defects? My God, I thought the Republican Party was going to out of whack. So I guess you are a Republican at this point over here because you're a tr you're a Trumplican. You're one of those QAnon people. You guys love conspiracies with no facts. You spew it off at the top of your head, but you don't even have the facts or figures or even the proof. You know, when our newspaper reporters can actually dig up the proof and talk to other scientists, 
who will disprove your ass. You got to put up or shut up. But you're just spouting off. So I don't get it with, with your major malfunction. Chemicals are turning people into sexual creatures of different sorts. It's bad enough we've got the other assholes out there. Yes, I used the word assholes. I was saying that we shouldn't have all these defective characters all over the damn place. It's not natural. Oh, my God. They say the only thing is natural is only a man and woman. That's about it. But nothing in, in between. Oh, God. If you're so that righteous, you're that holy, and you think you're that hip and square in a world of spirituality, you sure as hell don't show the damn shit in the first place. We're not supposed to be judgmental if we're supposed to be following in the name of Christ. Unfortunately, Christian nationalists... How do you define that in the world of Christ? In the world of the established religion and order? In the name of God? And why do we have so many character mutations happening these days? Now, either we can call it Darwinism happening at this point. We have evolution working its magic. We have the unit powers of the universe deciding the fate of everybody else. But we think in our own established insanity here that it shouldn't be. It should only be the way we think the universe should be. Oh, you guys are dumb and obnoxious. I thought the Dark Ages were fun. You guys are worse. Yeah, Dark Ages. Only the word of God. Only the word of God. That's bad end. Everything else is established over here. The earth is not revolving around the sun. The sun revolves around the earth. The earth is the center of the universe. Please. Bad enough when the, when the Romans and Greeks had to come up with their own ideas and maybe different other established civilizations who didn't think and didn't believe in science that the earth was curved but the earth was flat. And there are sea creatures out there ready to, go, to gobble you up. And that there's a wall of ice on the edge of the earth. Please. Good Lord. The weather patterns we get are circulating around a globe, but we don't believe in that, do we? Nor was it even proven that when we actually had diameter roughly described back in the ancient Greek days and actually put the information in the Great Library of Alexandria, hell, people still think that's a myth. We had tantalizing pieces of work out there the scientists had still try to find more and more pieces somewhere. If they could find more and more deteriorating forms of papyrus, that'll be adding more and more to our history that we don't know of. People keep pining for the times when we, we actually could maybe make a time machine and go back. But then they go back and we're screwed because our own timeline gets sev severed. And they're stuck with another timeline because they dare manage to do a time machine. Grandfather Paradox. But then again, we make decisions on a constant basis. Therefore, we're constantly creating quantum universes, according to the theories. But the other scientists and other creationists don't think about that that way. Only the Word of God and only in our sacred texts and the ancient religious books that we have that guide our moral principles. Well... Those things are the ones that have to be followed exactly. Because they say so. Yes, I know. Some things that we have to follow and, and make laws govern, uh, to follow some of these ideas and ideals that we have. But the rest of the thing, we're showing how screwed up human beings aren't really are. All they got to do is read the Bible and find out what they've been doing these days or those days. And they say, it's irreprehensible irre these days. Well, maybe it is. We tried to draw. We tried to create things that hopefully give us a little bit more hope for the future, and we can't even have that these days. Why? Because things are so screwed up. We have to follow everyone else's 
patterns left and right. That's kind of sucky, doesn't it? Everyone else says so, but we don't. But if we have to do the majority, then we all have to agree in some form or another about what we have to go. But if it's just one person saying, you will do it because I say so, and I will scream louder, and I will scream in your face, and I will scream in this guy's face, and I'll keep screaming. One of these here days, someone's going to be reaching out and just saying, shut up. No, make me. I will. What are you doing? You're putting a gag on my mouth. No, I'm putting duct tape on your mouth to shut you up. Of course, you have holes in your nose to breathe unless something else happened to your face. It's no, but it just gives us a little peace of mind so we can live our lives easier without you screaming and yelling that you want. You want, you want, you want. What about the rest of us? What about the rest of us are still dealing with stuff like this? I mean, my God, what the hell are we supposed to be doing? I don't get it. I don't get it. We're supposed to be listening to the minority at this point over here all the damn time. They got the pirates of the majority, but then again, we have to consider mob rule. Unless we're at a consensus and we're not doing with our anger, but maybe with a little bit of logic and a little compassion, a little understanding. But if we don't do that, we're just doing a mob roll then. Or are we screwed? Oh yeah, so actually, if we actually had any people coming down from whatever dimension or universe or planet and actually had a glimpse of what the hell we are, I think we'd scare the hell out of them. If they had a complete context of what humanity was like, a long time ago to hear, they'd still be scared and run for the hills. You're too primitive! Damn straight. We got our pride, we got our prejudice. We got our egos running like crazy. We have megalomanias. We have people who think we fall until we fall off the damn earth, ends of the earth. Is the Earth indeed flat? Well, we discovered with our own damn space probes. We keep reiterating the idea that we do not live on a flattened Earth. We live on a we live on a ball, roughly, with a lot of gravity, recycling itself left and right, and we're still screwing up our life support system. So now we got to go outside into the solar system, into space, and look for more life support. Look for a way of how to generate oxygen either with or without plants. And if we happen to have the forms of water out there, we can use the hydrogen and use the oxygen basis out of them. Same stuff we have out here on Earth, if we hadn't screwed up our planet royally. I hear all these damn politicians driving us crazy left and right. How does that grab me? It doesn't. It doesn't. I think I'll sleep on it.